Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're going to be unboxing the Indominus set. Uh, and as you may have noticed, it looks like mine has already been through war. Uh, thanks to Games Workshop, uh, they shipped me this item. And uh, this is how it arrived. And the absolutely crazy part about it is I bought uh, three copies of Indominus. I was fortunate enough to get three. Uh, from Games Workshop and two of them arrived like this and the uh, two that arrived like this the actual boxes that they were shipped in were not damaged at all so that means that these items were damaged like this before they put it in the boxes and shipped it to me so I understand that there's limited quantity and everything was a little crazy there but no business I have ever seen in all of existence would ever ship you a brand new item in a box like this without the actual box it shipped in being damaged also so that means that someone actually packaged this into the box full on knowing it was damaged and still shipped it to me so that to me is just absolutely absurd uh, but it is what it is again I'm so happy to have gotten it and I am currently uh, you know dealing with games workshop and their customer service uh, very very glad that I bought this directly from uh, games workshop because if not they give you a nightmare trying to return stuff so or get like exchanges or anything fixed so but I'm just trying to uh, document this as we go uh, because I do have to deal uh, with the games workshop so uh, here is the official as you can see I mean this thing it's busted all the way through clearly it looks like it was taped oh no okay that's probably just the seal but yeah, I mean, this is just, that's crazy. That's before the item even shipped. And then I got two, I ordered three of them and two of them came uh, in this condition. So, and it looks like, unfortunately, there are a bunch of damaged sprues as well so but uh that's fine we can get into all that we're just going to go through and do our basic unboxing so we have two squads of five assault intercessors uh so it's gonna be 10 intercessors total and you can make two of those sergeants uh, but they do not give you different equipment options uh, and then we have the outrider bikes uh, again you get a sergeant and two outriders and then we have our character sprues you're gonna have your captain and then you're gonna have your uh, Necron uh, Overlord on one sprue. And then you're gonna have your, um, oh man, I can't think of his name, but uh, the Immortal character and the Lieutenant on another sprue. And then we have uh, the Canoptic Destroyers. Sorry, it looks like there's definitely some damage to some of these. Uh, and then we have this one's gonna have like all the other stuff. It's got the Plasmancer, uh, the two Necrothals, uh, the War of the Worlds Reanimator, uh, the Canoptic Lord, bunch of stuff on that one. And then you're gonna get two sprues of these bad boys. These are the Necron Warriors. Uh, there's 10 on each, and then there's three Scarab Swarms on each. So you're gonna get 20 total uh, with three of the Scarab Swarms. And they are awesome looking. And then we have our Space Marine character sprue. And this has your Chaplain, Judicar, uh, the uh, Ancient, and then it has your three Eradicators and uh, the three uh, Blade Guards as well. So that one's loaded up right there. And then we have one more of the uh, Spacers there. This is the Edge of Silence book. Go ahead, pop that open too. Um, in case you haven't had an opportunity to uh, take a look but basically you're gonna have first your assembly instructions uh, some pictures etc gives you like a little bit of uh, I thought it give you the painting breakdown but it doesn't uh, and then we have the edge of silence this one's a little different because you get the core rule book and there's a bunch of like missions in it and everything there's like a little background lore talking about like the Necrons and like you know the Imperium and kind of how this all ends up and there's a bunch of like illustrated pictures talks about the space marines but there's no actual like special missions or like necrons versus space marines or anything like that in here specifically uh here's all your data sheets um as we're in the previous ones like uh where they did uh like the wake the dead and stuff like that they had like some special missions in there but in this case you get like the entire rule book 
with all that stuff. So there's not really a reason for them to give you the full rule book with a bunch of stuff and then also like thematic stuff that's specific to uh, these factions. So uh, we may find a book like that in the uh, new start. But I think this one was more of like, you know, like the collector's kind of like uh, thing versus like a starter set. So, uh, and here we have our rule book, which of course is banged up corner there. And then we've got just a little flyer for uh, the new book that Gav Thorpe uh, wrote. If you're interested in that, you can get like, I think it's like a free chapter. And then there's a bunch of transfers. The spacer art piece of Gulliman and uh, Baden battling and then we get a whole bunch of whole bunch of bases uh, and as you can see stuff's just getting bigger and bigger because now there's obviously no 25 mils in here everything is 32 mil 40 mil uh, I think this one's 50 we got the big oval ones so everything's just getting a little bit bigger as they go uh, I think that's a 60 there but yeah there you have it that's the uh, Indominus box set definitely a great value uh, for everybody that was able to get one um, and uh, a lot of cool models and I'm very glad that they're going to be releasing them all in the new sets. It uh, looks like there's probably going to be um, a shortage or extra demand for Eradicators and Outriders because there's probably going to be a delay from when, well maybe not Outriders, I think Eradicators and Blade Guards rather. Um, there's probably going to be a delay uh, from when the Eradicators and Blade Guards are available again and initial because all the other stuff is in the uh, starter box sets but the blade guards are not included and uh, the uh, eradicators are not included so there's going to be a shortage of them for sure until they come up with like the multi kit which I know there's already a blade guard kit that they uh, showed in some of the pictures but they haven't talked about release date or anything like that so look out for that um, and then also it's going to be the same thing with the Necron stuff uh, if you look at the Necron um, sprues you basically all the other Necron stuff is available, but none of this is. And then on top of that, wait, does the Canoptic Lord come on and say? No. So this whole sprue right here is is basically gone. The Canoptic uh, Lord and the Reanimator, the Plasmancer, and the two uh, Necrothals. This is going to be, uh, all these items are going to be hard to get to because none of them are available in the new set. So at least until they come out with you know a full range or full kits or whatever uh this is going to be rare and this is going to be rare oh and i didn't even mention too like the blade guard ancient and the chaplain the chaplain you can get a primaris chaplain it's not that big of a deal it's just this custom model but the blade guard ancient will only be available in this set um he's pretty good he's not amazing but he's definitely pretty good and only being available in the set probably is going to make him uh you know rare and unique as well so um as where the chaplain is definitely an awesome model but the fact of the matter is if you need to get a but if you need to get a, a blade guard ancient you know and you can't convert one or you need to get eradicators or blade guards or whatever you know you're you got to go for these so these two sprues are definitely going to be uh the rarities amongst this set which you know obviously looking at them it's very clear because all the other ones are essentially split up into the units that they are as where these are uh, all unique so well, there we have it. There we had the unboxing. Sorry, it was off to a little unfortunate start there. Uh, overall, it looks like most stuff is in good shape and uh, not too damaged. But it absolutely blew my mind that they would even ship me uh, this still sealed in a box that was in perfect condition. Um, but hey, I get it. You know, it's just somebody probably working in a warehouse. Um, you know, not your like frontline guys who are going to hear about it. It's just some random guy who's uh, throwing them in a box. So there you have it, Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man. This is our uh, Indominus uh, unboxing. If you like what you saw here, I'm sure you probably saw it somewhere else too, but uh, probably not the damaged one. So this one's one of a kind. Warhammer Man Studios, I'm Warhammer Man, and I'm out of here.